Now let's achieve this add student method here. Now that means we want to create first a student. We'll say now instead of fetching, let, I don't want to fetch now. Fetching is done, and I don't want to print this. I just want to save. I want to add a new student. So what the new student will be? It will say student. Uh, this time we'll say s2 equal to new student. Since we want to create a new student here. And then the student number, we'll say student role number, will be let's say 15, and the student name, or student s name, will be let's say uh, we'll go for Archana. Okay, I want to store this name here. So what we can do is we can say dao dot add student with student s2. But unfortunately, we don't have any method with that name. So that means we want to create that method now. So we'll create, we'll remove this gap first. And somewhere here, let me just minimize this code method. Okay. And after this method, I want to create a method public void. I don't, don't want to get anything. So we'll say add student. This student will accept a student object. We'll say s. And we want to save that. So that means we want to create a query. And this query will be insert query. Now, whenever you work with insert in JDBC, uh, don't go for a statement, go for a prepared statement. That means it will say insert into student. And since I don't know the values, I will say question mark, comma, question mark, so that I can replace the question mark later. Now, I want to achieve those seven steps again. So what I can do is I can just take out these steps from here and will declare, declare it outside. So in the class here, I will say connection con equal to null because I want to go for this instance declaration. So I don't have to de declare here in the previous method, which is get student. And we'll, everything will do here. And then instead of, we'll require one more method, which is public voice connect so that it will create the connection doesn't matter if this get student or the or our add student. I want this two method or this two statement should be outside. Once I create the connection, I don't don't have to do it again. Again, we require a try catch block here, so we'll just around with try catch, and we'll go for some generalized exception, and we'll print as out ex. I'm just I'm just taking out the common methods in both the common uh, lines or statements in the both the methods. And here what we can do is now we can say, I want to create a statement, but this time prepared statement. So we'll say prepared statement. We'll say PST equal to con dot prepared statement. And we are getting this con from connection. And this query will be query. And I want to replace that question mark, so we'll say PST dot set end roll number. Oh, sorry, it should be the question mark number, and this should be roll number. Not simple roll number, it should be S dot roll number, because the data is in this S. Uh-oh, I'm getting an error. Okay, I want to, I have to handle this. We'll say surround with track edge. Again, I don't want to go for specific type of exception. I, go, I will go for the generalized exception. And we'll say as out ex. And let me just cut this line from here. This one. Cut and paste. I want to go for replacement of second question mark. So we'll say search string. And this will say two. And the string will be s dot s name. Clear. And then. What we can do is we can just execute the query. So to execute the query, we'll say execute update. So let's say execute because when you insert, you have to update it. When you fire the query, you have to say execute query. And that's it. Once you say update, it will store that data into database. But before calling add student, I need to call now connect because I'm creating, I'm going for a new method called as connect here. See this. So once you do the connection, once you call the connection, it will call this statement and this statement. So the instance for this con is creating on this statement. So we have to create a connect first. 
So first you have to call connect and then add to it. Clear? And now if I run this, I hope it should work. Uh, no errors. Let me go to my MySQL. Let me just say select star from student. You can see we have a new student with role number 15 and name is Archana, right? So this is how you can add student, you can remove student. In fact, you can do, you can write coding for uh, DAO dot remove student. So what we have to do is we just and pass the role number. We said 12. So it will remove the student with role number 12. But again, you have to write a code for this. You have to write delete query. So you have to write a method. In this, you have to write those steps to remove that method or to remove that uh, student. Simple. So this is how you have to use DAO. Thank you so much.